Hello. Let's today's lecture. Let's talk about acid chlorides and some of the reactivity reactions we can do with our acid chloride. We talked about previously that I can take a carboxylic acid reacted with SOCl2, generate my acid chloride. Right. Once we have an acid chloride, there's quite a few reactions that we can do with this acid chloride. So we talked about already. This is being a very very good leaving group. Right. So let's start looking at some of those reactions that we can do in the general mechanism. Now, the mechanism of these are all going to be very similar. And so let's start with our, our initial one. Let's just take it with water, right? Let's just take our water and react it with our acid chloride. And again, remember we talked about this chlorine. It's, it's going to be a very good lead group. So once it can leave, right? It's going to be very stable when it comes off. So what we're going to see here is we have a pack, just like we saw before. A water is going to attack a carbonyl. Ones come up and we form this intermediate here where we have that negative charge in the oxygen and that positive charge on our water. And what we're going to see now is that electrons will come back down. And remember, which one's a better leaving group? In this case here, surprisingly, our chlorine is a way better leaving group than our water is. So our chlorine will be kicked off. Get the species here. And then the last step then is neutralization. Form our carboxylic acid, right? So these reactions are very great in terms that we can do this reaction to regenerate what? Acid chloride with water gives us our carboxylic acid back out, right? So this is our initial reaction. But we'll see with a lot of these reactions, it's very similar in terms of the steps, right? We're going to have an act of a carbonyl, electrons come up, electrons come back down. In every case, it's going to kick off that chlorine. That chlorine can be kicked off, right? Because again, it's a very, very good leaving. Right, so good. It comes off. I don't even write it in. It's gone. Right, out of here. Okay. So we'll think that as we look at each type of reaction for our acid chlorides. So let's look at another reaction for acid chlorides. Let's do this case here. Let's do an alcohol. And generally, when we do the alcohols here, we're going to use a little bit of purity. Here in this reaction is, is going to be is our base. Okay, we just need a little bit here and there for the base to get the reaction to go completion, right? Just a little bit of that base in there. But again, we'll see a very similar type of mechanism. Reactions come here. All right. So we have this species here. And then as we saw before, electrons come back down. All right, and then we have our purine come in. The structure of purine is this. That's going to be our purity. It's going to pull off that electron, that hydrogen. I'm going to stay with that one. And from that, we can get our ester. Right? Very similar again mechanism. OH attacks the carbon, the carbon, the electrons come up. Electrons come back down, kick off our chlorine, our very good leaving group. And then our last step is then using that base. So in this case here, we need a little bit of purity for that base to get the reaction to go to completion, right? Get the reaction to go all the way. Okay. So that's one reaction, again, the reaction we can do to go from an acid chloride to our ester group here. Okay. So two reactions that we can do with our acid chlorides. Okay. What else do I do? We can do the same reaction. How about with an amine? Amine, again, I think you're going to get kind of bored. In this case here, we need excess. We're going to use excess amine. Why do you think we need excess amine, right? We need the excess amine to work as our base for that last step, right? Get rid of that uh, deprotonated amine when it taps. Actually, I'm 
them down. And we kick off the chlorine. Notice how we're kicking off this neutral chlorine rather than the positive nitrogen. Again, that tells you how good of a lead group that chlorine is, right? We spent a lot of time in the first semester again talking about that, how good these halides are as lead groups, chlorine and the bromine. Very good lead groups because once they come off, they're very stabilized. They're not very active at all, right? They come off, they're happy just having that negative charge. No problem there. We can make that amide, right? We get very similar reactions, very similar, right? We use the acid chloride to make an amide, a carboxylic acid, and to make our ester, right? And all doing the same similar type of mechanism. Now, what other mechanisms can we do? What other reactions? Can we do? There's a couple more reactions we can do with our acid chloride, right? So we'll do something maybe a little different. So don't get too bored with this. Now let's take our acid chloride. Now let's react it with a Grignard reaction. What do you think that's going to happen? One MGBR. We'll do this in excess. And we'll have water at the end. So let's take our Grignard reagent and react it with our H2. Um, Grignard reagent excess and then with water at the end here, right? So what do you think is going to happen first? We've seen this step before, we've seen this process before. Right? Half the carbonyl, that comes come up. Now we have our R1 there, right? Now, as we saw before, electrons are going to come back down. And we're going to kick off. What's going to get kicked off? It's going to be the chlorine. Chlorine leaf. And we get R1 there, right? We get R1. So what we did, we had addition of our, our one that came from the greater region. Now, notice what we've made here. We've made a what? We've made a carbonyl, right? We've made a ketone. Guess what? How, how reactive are ketones or greeners? Very reactive. And look at this. We're in excess. So we have a lot more of this greater region in solution. Now we're going to do this again, R1. Sometimes I'm up. Now look at this species here. Now we've had addition of our two groups from our Grignard reagent have been added there, right? And then what's going to happen next? Second step. Water. And so notice what we formed here. We started with the acid chloride, adding an excess greener reagent. We ended up forming a what? Tertiary alcohol here. Tertiary alcohol here, right? Because what? We had addition of a greener one time. Electrons came up from the carbonyl, came back down, kicked off the chlorine. We generated a ketone. Once we generate the ketone, it's going to react again. React with the greener reagent again. And then we get addition of the second R1 there, right? So we get this as our final compound. So that's a great way to take and start with the acid chloride and end up with a tertiary alcohol that has two groups attached to it, right? Using our Grignard reagent, okay? And again, very similar steps, just a little different here in terms of once we make this carbonyl, we can attack it again, right? So that's, that's one reaction we can do there. So let's see, what else do you want to do? So there's one reaction we can talk about with our acid chloride. Very similar we saw with the greener. Now, we, with the greener, we're able to add two carbon sources. What about I think mass of chloride? That's a living room hydrate. What if I take my lithium hydride and 
and I'm going to now react it with my water. React it with my acid chloride, right? Now we already know what this is. It's strongly reducing agent. It's going to excess. Excess, right? We can see the same thing. Hydrogen added. It's going to be very similar to what we saw for a reagent. reaction. We have addition of one hydride. Electrons come back down, and we're going to do what? We're going to kick off this chlorine. We get to this species here. Look at that. We made it out of right? But remember, we have excess. What do you want to do next? Let's react it again. So look at that, we've added now two hydrogens, right? And now our last step is what? Water, water. We got a lot of water in there. So make what? We've made a primary alcohol here. We start with an acid chloride. One addition of lithium hydride, second addition of lithium hydride to give us our alcohol, right? Again, that's another reaction. We went over what, four different reactions of how we can react with our acid chloride, right? And as we move forward and look at the different derivatives, say the ester, the amide, right, the carboxylic acid, we won't have as many reactions that we can do for each one. The acid chloride is very um, versatile in terms of many different reactions that we can do. So, we got over quite a few reactions today with our acid chloride, right? Again, very reactive species. Okay. In the future videos, we'll talk about other carboxylic acid derivatives.